Hi, everybody. So um, we've concluded the uh, physical examination of the uh, head and neck for a general practitioner or family doctor. Um, what we're going to do is try to highlight some of the internal anatomy of the uh, head and neck using a fiber optic flexible telescope here. Um, today I here to have Dr. Vince uh, Byron, who's on a call here at the University Hospital, who's going to be uh, giving us a hand uh, with this uh, examination. Okay. So you're going to need the left nasal cavity. Left nasal cavity, yeah. So Vince has now inserted the uh, flexible fiber optics telescope into uh, Brittany's left nostril. We can see the prominent blood vessels right over here of, of Little's uh, area. We can see the inferior turbinate here, the middle turbinate here, and the middle meatus. I'm going to ask Vince now to, uh, uh, Dr. Vince, to advance the telescope a little further now into the nasal cavity. So as he inserts it, we can see again here the space below the middle turbinate represent the middle meatus where we look for pus and polyps to suggest evidence of sinusitis. Okay. Okay. Vince has now entered into the posterior quenae. So this is the posterior edge of the septum here. This is the posterior quenae. And now we're getting a good view of Brittany's adenoid region. Her adenoids have shrunk down. Uh, Dr. Vincent will show us the uh, uh, eustachian tube orifice now. This is again a view of the adenoid pad here. And we're pretty a little bit of a cold, so on that side there we can see it. Right here is the eustachian tube orifice. Okay, the palate is coming up towards us here. And on this side right here is the eustachian tube orifice. So this is very important. This is the eustachian tube orifice. Here's the torus tuberis. In this space here, a nasopharyngeal carcinoma could arise and block off, block off the eustachian tube, resulting in resulting in a otitis media with effusion. Okay. So I'll move the uh, the camera down now. Now, here's a view of the soft palate. We're looking at the soft palate from the nasopharyngeal side. Here's the uvula. Here's the soft palate. Here's the posterior pharyngeal wall. Okay, Vincent, go down. Okay. Again, the uvula. Here's the base of tongue region right here. Here we can see the... Epiglottis. Um, Let's get a better focus. That's good. Yeah. Here we can see the epiglottis region here. Here's the space between the tongue and the epiglottis revert, referred to as the vollecula. Go down a little further. Okay, we can see now the we can see now the retinoid cartilages which are moving. They are attached to the false vocal cords and the true vocal cords. Again, the false vocal cord and the true vocal cords, and then the space below the vocal cords referred to as the subglottis. Posteriorly here would sit the hypopharynx leading into the esophagus. Brittany, I'll get you to say e. e. You can see the vocal cords come together when she phonates and then sniff in through your nose, Brittany. When she sniffs in, the vocal cords come apart. Okay, so you can move back now, Vince. You're coming back again. Again, the eustachian tube orifice here the inferior turbinate here, septum over here, the floor of the nasal cavity. That's it. Good.